What up techies? Welcome back to our channel. Researchers have found something that appears to be artificial light on the planet Proxima b, but they do not know what the discovery could mean. There is no evidence to back up the claim that it is an advanced civilization from another planet. Despite this, there are still some people who continue to speculate about what might have happened. Astronomers have been mesmerized by the star system Proxima Centauri since the beginning of time. This is because it is the one that is the closest to our own. And now, there is a possibility that they have found evidence of intelligent life on one of the planets in the system. This would be a significant development. The term artificial light has been given to describe these peculiar occurrences, which have unsettled the community of people who work in space. However, what precisely do they consist of? And if that is the case, does that imply intelligent life somewhere on the planet? Is there a community that can be considered civilized in the area? To put it more succinctly, there is no justification for dismissing the possibility. In the following video, we are going to investigate that very topic. Keep in mind that despite the vastness of the universe, other planets host intelligent life forms, and one of these planets is our very own neighbor, Proxima Centauri. If you ever feel isolated in the immensity of the universe, just keep in mind that sentient beings inhabit other worlds. Throughout the last few years, we have devoted a significant amount of time and energy to the search for indications that other intelligent civilizations may exist in the universe. On the other hand, the overwhelming majority of the time all we find are echoes of our signals. Why don't we just examine the planets that make up the Proxima Centauri system to see if any clues point to the existence of intelligent life. A recent study concluded that the glow emanating from the night side of a planet is the most definitive sign that there is life on that planet. Because our cities emit light that travels out into the cosmos, and is reflected on us we should be able to see if another civilization has turned on the lights at Proxima Centauri from space. Alyssa Tapper of Sanford University and Avi Loeb of Harvard University point out that an artificial lighting system would be required to support a technological culture on a tidally locked planet with a permanently dark side. According to the latest study's findings, a multi-wavelength space-based observatory could be launched as early as 2035. LEVOIR is an acronym that stands for Large UV Optical IR Surveyor which describes the function of this observatory. On the other hand, a civilization that developed somewhere else might leave traces of its artifacts on the worlds it chooses to investigate. However, this is one of the most remote possibilities of all. Despite this, there is still a likelihood that the survey will turn up something fascinating, such as a Dyson Sphere or other indications that intelligent life can be found in our galaxy. Researchers Alyssa Tapper and Avi Loeb wrote in a paper that a tidally locked planet with a side that is always dark would require artificial illumination to support a technological culture. They did this based on their hypothesis that such a planet would have a technological civilization. They suggest that the multi-wavelength space-based observatory known as LEVOR should be launched in the year 2035 as a solution to this problem. On the other hand, the possibility of such a coincidence occurring for civilizations that develop around nearby stars is highly remote. The light may be coming from a distant world wobbling in response to a vast constellation of satellites, which is essentially the same thing happening. We are continually putting more satellites into orbit around our home planet Earth. Consequently, the light coming from a distant world might waver in reaction to a massive constellation of satellites. There is a chance that nuclear warfare would result in extremely high levels of air pollution. Even though these signs of technology could have just as quickly been caused by natural phenomena, such as orbiting debris or comet impacts, artificial illumination is qualitatively different from the natural light of stars discussed earlier. This is because machines produce artificial illumination. Eliza Tabber and Avi Loeb used the internet to conduct a test drive simulating the hunt for alien light sources last year. However, the results were not exactly what one would expect because the internet is not yet completely functional. Only one planet in the Proxima Centauri system has been confirmed to exist, and it is located 4.25 light years away from Earth. This planet has the potential to presumably host a civilized target that the James Webb Space Telescope can observe. The rocky world Proxima B resides in is the Proxima Centauri system. This is a region suitable for human habitation. Proxima Centauri is an M-class red dwarf star. This star only has about 12% of our sun's mass. It is estimated that Proxima b has a mass of approximately 1.6 times that of Earth, and a radius of about 1.3 times that of our planet. So, what exactly did we find out? If the artificial nightside illumination of Proxima b were to reach 5 times that of the natural dayside illumination, then there would be an 85% chance that the web would detect the artificial light. A 9% increase in the amount of artificial illumination will result in a 95% increase in web's detection rate. We can compare the light to the light coming from the sun, 
which is approximately 20 times dimmer than the light from Proxima Centauri, although this is analogous to placing a firefly next to the light to the stadium. Even this amount of light emanating from the cosmos is significant in comparison to other sources of illumination. Because the artificial illumination on Earth is only illumination, it follows that the web would not be able to detect a civilization on Proxima B that was as lit up as we are because the lights emanating from that civilization would need to be 500 times brighter to be detected. This is because the artificial illumination on Earth is only illumination. On the other hand, this scenario is not entirely implausible because Proxima B might be the site of a culture that is on par with our own regarding technological advancement. The planet Proxima B may be subject to tidal locking due to the proximity of its orbit to the star with which it shares its orbit. On tidally locked planets, one side of the world always faces the sun, while the other side is always in darkness because it never meets the sun. This causes one side of the world to always be in sunlight. Likely, a civilization that lives on a planet that is tidally locked will need to place a greater emphasis on the infrastructure of its lighting systems. This advanced civilization may have bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight onto the side of the planet that's always in the shade. Any knowledgeable fan of science fiction is aware that the presence of artificial illumination of some kind is one of the most revealing signs that an alien civilization is present. This is one key characteristic that distinguishes human societies from alien ones. Whether a planet-sized city with millions of inhabitants or a massive space station orbiting a gas giant, any advanced society will produce light that can be seen from a great distance. Even though these signs of technology could have just as quickly been caused by natural phenomena, such as orbiting debris or an impact from a comet, Artificial illumination is qualitatively distinct from the natural light of the stars. This is because artificial sources produce artificial illumination. To recap, a year ago, two researchers by the names of Eliza Tabert and Avi Loeb participated in a test drive of virtually hunting for strange lights on the internet. Despite this, the results were not perfect because the internet is not yet operating at its total capacity. The one confirmed planet in the Proxima Centauri system which is located 4.25 light years away from Earth, is the focus of the observations of the James Webb Space Telescope, which is a simulation of a space telescope. It is hypothesized to have the capability of supporting human civilization. The rocky planet Proxima b resides in the Proxima Centauri system region suitable for human habitation. Proxima Centauri is an M-class red dwarf star. This star only has about 12% of our sun's mass. It is estimated that Proxima b has a mass of approximately 1.6 times that of Earth, and a radius of about 1.3 times that of our planet. We cannot determine the source of the light coming from the void, but we keep our fingers crossed that it indicates that there is intelligent life somewhere in the universe. It is a constant reminder that we are not the only beings in the vastness of space that exist. Please like, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks again for watching. We will see you next time.